I've been off YouTube for a little bit, just getting everything together to start my business to come out here in La Jolla, San Diego, California, that I'm gonna launch this summer. Uh, right now I have an expected um, ship date for my product in early June. My birthday is June 12th, so that would be an awesome time to start the business, but around then is probably when I'll get the product, hopefully before June 12th, so that'd be like a cool, um, just timeline sequence of events to start the business. But that's what I've been up to lately. I've been uh, not posting YouTube videos like I was doing last year when I had gotten back into YouTube. I was posting a couple every day. But uh, just going over some details I've also mentioned on this channel just about my current life circumstance. I moved back home with my mom in March. I was renting for the last two years um, here in San Diego, my own house, um, where I was paying 1200 in rent. And I wanted to come back home save money and get a camper van uh, because San Diego is expensive plus perfect city to do it so instead of paying all that rent I figured come back home so I lived there for two years um, I moved there at 24 lived there for two years and then uh, just moved back in with my mom uh, in March of this year March 1st so April 1st came around and I noticed that I just saved a month of rent that I didn't have to pay and so, because I saved March 1st and April 1st, so at that time in early April of this year, I was just thinking, you know, I'm saving all this money now uh, for my camper van, but also too, I work uh, this nonprofit in San Diego. I sell this tie-dye that I've mentioned uh, a bunch of times on my channel, but I, uh, I make commission off this. And so the way that everything lined up, coming back home saving the money it was April and I was like oh wow I just saved another month of rent I was thinking summer's coming up um, saving the, the money for the camper van I could just take that money put a down payment on a business and get my own business going I've already worked this nonprofit since October of 18 so I've been here like two and a half years um, I worked at a hotel across the street from here at La Jolla Cove before that since August of 16 so I've been here in La Jolla working for almost five years now and so it would just be a great transition. It's like the next step. You know, I worked at the hotel, did a bunch of departments there. I loved it. Loved uh, working hospitality, helping people have a good vacation. And then um, kind of moved on from that to come out here and have my own tie-dye table with this nonprofit. So a little bit of an upgrade in the sense that I don't have a boss or overhead here. And I got along great with my boss at the hotel. I loved it and I don't mind that. But it's just a, a next step um, in life. You know, it's just going from... Uh, a job where they give you the W-2, um, where you have like hours that are set. Whereas here, I choose my own schedule. I pick the days and then they assign the location based on the other salespeople and who we need to cover certain spots. But um, So I choose my days being independently contracted with this. I can work um, three days in the week if I want to. I could work six. Um, I choose, you know, we do our schedules Friday through Thursday and every Tuesday we submit it, so you basically choose your schedule for the next week. Sometimes we have to rotate around based on um, certain salespeople being off or wanting a day off, but for the most part it's pretty free. So you go from like the hotel job out here where um, they're, they're both cool, I liked it, but this is a little bit more freeing. And now with all this money saved because I'm living with my mom instead of paying rent, I figured this would be my third summer coming out here to sell tie-dye. Um, Instead of just saving a bunch of money right now for the camper van, um, knowing that summer season's coming up, just start my own business. So early April, I started thinking about that. And so I, I came up with uh, the business idea I wanted to do, um, which is the Buff line. Buff is a company that makes tubular pieces of elastic material. So it's like a tubular piece of elastic with no seams that can stretch all four ways. It's nine inches wide, 20 and a half inches long and it's unisex, it can be worn several different ways. Um, I knew about Buff and uh, that item of clothing, particularly from the TV show Survivor, uh, since I, I've watched that um, since I was a kid. I didn't. Ca I was only six years old when it came out in 2000, but um, I caught up with it later as I got older and I've seen every season, but that's how I know about the, uh, the item. So uh, other people call it neck gaiter, um, multifunctional headwear, a bandana, whatever, but the Buff, nine inches wide, 20 and a half inches long. You can scrunch it down for a headband. You can wear it as a scarf. You can do a do-rag. Women can put it back uh, with their hair. Uh, men with longer hair or dreads. Um, you can wear it as a cap. Uh, you can wear it like a pirate. You can twist it up, uh, double it up and use it as a wristband. Um, there's 15 plus different ways you can wear it. And I'm getting the UV one, which is uh, SPF 50 plus UV protection, moisture wicking, 
odor control, uh, quick dry, breathable, seamless elastic, tubular elastic, no seams, no hems, and um, it's unisex, so I don't have to do uh, gender inventory. And because it's stretchable elastic, I don't have to do sizing inventory. So what I'm doing with my buff line, since I'm already out here at La Jolla Cove selling this tie-dye and I've been in La Jolla Cove working, um, I'm getting a legal business together with paperwork through the government, report sales tax and do all that. So um, I'm using LegalZoom to do that. So they're handling all my paperwork and um, the licensing that I need per county. And um, I'm gonna come out here and start my business, La Jolla Cove Headwear. And um, it's gonna be awesome. Cause I'll go from making commission here to making 100% of my own um, money because it'll be my own business. Of course, there's uh, you know costs into buying this in bulk. So I'm gonna buy in bulk the the buff, and then I'm gonna you know mark it up and sell it. And, but like anything, you know, people think, oh, it's like it, something's a risk or um, don't buy too much inventory because what if it won't sell? But I mean, it's fine. Like I'm already selling here for this nonprofit. The thing that people don't really understand too is that, like they they uh, they see you maybe for the first time selling this tie-dye for this nonprofit, and so they think, oh, well, this nonprofit has been here in San Diego for 30 years, they're already established. Um, they might underestimate you in a way where like, oh, they gave you the job, you just happen to be like a mixed race guy with green eyes, like, oh, just keep smiling. You know, I have people say that kind of stuff to me too. It's just like, oh, no wonder you're good at this job, like keep smiling, you know, just like assuming that, uh, like, oh, because you were born looking a certain way or handsome or whatever, that's like the only reason that you have this job. So if you talk about like your own business, someone already evaluated like your intelligence on it. So it's just, or like, or like what you can do or like your level in life or something like they're not they're not thinking that like you you could also be smart like I'm not just like hired here just to model the clothes and I don't have anything else going for me but that's the thing when you talk about a business um, to anybody they just they don't get all those layers and so just in general in my life I've been really trying to get this business together because as I mentioned before um, right now California passed this vendor law California Senate bill 946 where anyone can be a vendor um, currently without a permit you can just come here and set up and of course you still um, are supposed to pay taxes and sales tax um, it, is everybody in California that's taking uh, use of the vendor law doing that I can't speak for everyone else my uh, nonprofit we pay uh, sales tax um, I report taxes at the end of the year and uh, with my own business I plan on doing the same because I don't know at what point they might regulate the vendors because right now you can come and set up it, it gives people an easy um, way to be an entrepreneur start a business you don't have to have a storefront just come here at the beach and do your own thing you do custom jewelry you do custom um, paintings artwork photography whatever you do set up a table no problem I think it's a great idea encouraging more people to be successful spread out the um, the pot a little bit even it out so that we don't have just like one person at the top making billions and nobody else has opportunity I think it's a great opportunity to have that law but the thing is if this gets overcrowded with vendors um, or people start like abusing it like leaving trash or we just see a bunch of stuff out here where people really aren't taking it seriously as a job and they're just like we just have a bunch of like like knickknacks out and like sloppy tables and just like trash everywhere just you know this it could get bad depending on how many people hear about the vendor law and depending on what they plan on doing with that I easily see a pathway in which they might re-regulate it so that's really the only reason that I'm trying to be super um, on the book with it if you know if I didn't need to do all the business licensing and all that I probably wouldn't and currently I don't have to but you, you never know 99 people could do it right and then it takes that one person that uh, you leave trash or like is rude to a tourist and or like some some scene happens because like we have like 500 people out here selling and then uh it just you know problems happen for whatever reason and so they they come back later the city or the government it's like okay we're we're still gonna allow the vendors but now you need a permit now you need a license well if they do that cut back i'm already gonna have my business legally uh in the books with the government all filed reporting taxes so i should be here so i'm just trying to get ahead of the game with that so um, since I thought of all this in um, in April, that's where I came up with the buff line that I wanted to do. And um, so that's what I've been focused on since, just going through LegalZoom and all the paperwork and uh, just everything that I need to do to come out here. And back and forth with the design team at Buff, 
you know, you have your vision of how you want to do it and then, you know, over email certain details get missed and you just go back and forth. But that's with anything working on a project with other people, especially over email where you have to um, interpret text. So um, I finally came up with a finalized logo on the details that I wanted them to correct uh, for every revision. And just on the timeline with it, uh, the, the, co the company Buff is in Spain and they're going to have an estimated ship date in early June. They're going to let me know. So um, noticing also with the tie-dye here too, the last two summers, I've noticed this really picks up for summer season about the second week of June when all the elementary schools are off and all the families are traveling together. So um, about the second week of June is when I've noticed that the sales in general does better in summer season for every vendor. So um, if they're gonna ship it in early June, um, I'll get the product at some point after that. My birthday's June 12th, I would love that um, to be like the first day I launched the business, Saturday, June 12th, turned 27, started business. Um, it, you just see the progression of it. Worked at a hotel here in La Jolla, then worked for this nonprofit, and now went from this nonprofit to making my own brand and then going from there. And that's what I want to do. I want to save the money. And depending on how my business does, because I'm making um, commission off this, if it, who knows what my own business could do and when I'm making all of the money myself, you know, minus the costs and taxes and all that. But um, I might make a lot of money this summer where I decide um, maybe I can stay home with my mom longer, not get the camper van, and then maybe I could put like the down payment on like a property somewhere. I was looking at that, especially with here in San Diego and California being so expensive. I could work here in my 20s. I'm 26 now, going to be 27 in June. I could work here and then put a down payment on a property somewhere where it's just super cheap, like Alabama or something, like Tuscaloosa. Just like get a house like next to like the University of Alabama, just like work in your 20s. And then you got like a five bedroom, four bathroom house, just like yard space, pool, just everything modern inside. And you, you know, you're paying $600,000 for like some mansion out there over here, you're getting like, a shack if that for 600 grand so you could think about it you work in your 20s and then pick like a college town and you're just like the older guy with the house i'm just you know i'm being funny with it but at the same time i've actually thought of uh, what i could do going forward with that so i'm just really excited to start my business continue the youtube channel and uh just take life from there